Uh, hello there, my name is Chris and welcome back to the unoriginal class. And that's all I got. See you guys, thanks for watching. Okay. <coughs> that was the that was a weird intro. Um what's going on guys? My name is Chris and welcome back to Unoriginal Craft. Craft 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 and Mac and Cheese and Craft. Okay, so last episode we pretty much just made a circle. <laughs> I started the arena. Um I haven't done much since then. <laughs> uh, today we're gonna be working on my house because I need to do that, and I keep forgetting there's a hole up there that I need to do. I also need to finish this room, man. There's so much I gotta do, but there's so much like hmm, I feel like if I knew exactly what I want to do for these places, I would just do it. But I don't know what I want to do with these places, so I haven't been able to do it. Let's see what I have in stock for diamonds. Yep, that's that's a lot of diamonds. That, that's great. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that's rude. Um, I hate Kenny. She is now on my KOS list. That's kill on sight. If you don't know, uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm a genius. Oh, I don't have any dark oak. Dude, I probably should have checked how much stuff I had before recording. Haha, <laughs> but I did not. Um, hmm. <laughs> I didn't even think to maybe, like, you know, prepare myself to do this recording. I was like, you know what, let's record an episode. I need to record an episode. I haven't done that in a little while. And then I just kind of hopped on, and here I am today. Uh, I feel like I'm talking really freaking fast. Um, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm simply not. You can't prove it. Welcome back. Butthead. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, I have the best comebacks ever. Um, <clears throat> Do I have an axe? Of course I don't. That would just be too freaking perfect if I had an axe on me. We're gonna work on the floor today. <laughs> oh, I was like, why is the rain coming? And then I realized, oh, yeah, I totally cut a hole. <clears throat> Sad face. Um, what I could be here for? Oh yeah, an axe. Dude, why am I? I feel so hyperactive right now. I haven't had any energy drinks, nothing. I haven't even like eaten a while, so it's not like you know. I ate something with sugar in it because I did not. Alas, I did not. Uh, okay, so what do you guys? What have you guys been up to lately? Uh, me? Oh, well, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for asking. Um, just, just you know, kind of working, kind of twerking. Don't feel bad for Chris. Aww, I love you, Zoe. Aww. <laughs> Too far? Maybe too far. Uh, that's okay. I, I live to go too far. Yeah, I, I got the awkward LOL back. That was definitely too far. Crap, I, I messed it up. Um, Alright, let's chop some of this down. I don't like this whole circle thing here. I don't like this whole circle jerk. <laughs> See what I did there? I don't. Um, Hi! Oh, we're freaking getting a whole party on. Yeah, I see you're on with Kenny, Zoe, and Pronote. Fantastic people those are. It looks like they're just like, when you look at that, my door through this way, it looks like there's just water out there. But no, it's the Mario thing that I totally still have to move. Although I don't really know exactly where I want to put it yet. Maybe I should just put it on top of that hill. I am unsure. I am sure. Oh yeah, spawn has actually gotten improved by quite a bit. I actually was walking down there the other day and I was like, holy crap. Actually, by the other day, I mean yesterday. I was like, holy crap, this looks freaking awesome. But I don't think I could show it yet till I think CJ uploads a video he asked us not to show anything. So I have not done yet. I have I'm not going to do it because I'm a nice guy. I am a nice guy. I'm a I'm a smart guy. Let's start out there. Do, wait, did I even need to do that? I don't really know to be honest. Um Let's try oak wood. Just kinda fill this crap in. Not like a zat, Chris. Okay, so in the last episode, I said in this episode I would talk about why I created a Minecraft server. And the reason was because I'm extremely lonely. The end, bye! <laughs> That's the end of the episode. Okay, no. Um, <clears throat> the reason I wanted to create a Minecraft episode is as follows. How does this look? Dude... I think this would be really cool, minus the fact that it doesn't line up with the window. Well, I, I, that's an easy fix, so I just gotta do this. Uh, there we go. That looks cool. I like that. Oh boy, did you guys hear that delayed sound? That delayed sound, though. Hmm. 
What would happen if I went like this? Okay, so. Oh boy, I've ever since I started YouTube, uh, people talk about collaborations and like that's the best way to grow your channel and all that. But for some reason, I never really got into that, and it's not really that I got into that, but I never really made friends. <laughs> uh, and actually, it's not really that I didn't make friends. It's that I don't. I never felt like comfortable to record around people. As weird as that sounds, I like that. Um, do we have? Any oh, we do have dirt. For some reason. I can talk to people like I don't know in real life like you know if I'm with somebody and they bring like a, a like a friend they, that they know but I don't know like I'm completely 100% fine with just you know starting conversation talking to people but that's as far as that has ever gone with me as in when I try to do that in real life I mean not in real life on like Skype or over the phone even it feels awkward to me and I don't know why Actually, I think I do know why. I think it's because when when you meet someone face to face in real life that you don't know, you have more to talk about because you know you could comment on what they're wearing, for example, or you know pretty much anything about them. Like you know, let's say if they're like Asian, you could be like, oh, so you're Asian. What country did your does your family come from? But like you know, if you're recording something randomly with people on YouTube, it's like you don't know what they look like. Well, I mean, I guess you can, and it would make sense if you kind of did before recording something with them. But like. I don't know. It, is that weird? I, I feel like it's really weird. I've always had an issue with talking to people on the phone. It's always felt really awkward to me. And strange. And cockward. Hmm. So I can't really do that on this side, can I? Unless I did it right here. That No, that wouldn't interfere with that. Okay, we can do that then. But yeah, for some reason, talking on the phone with people has always felt really strange to me and awkward. So I... have I tend to try to avoid it as much as possible. Even with people I'm close with, with like with my fam, my close family, and even my girlfriend. Like I hate talking to the phone once because everything feels it feels like forced conversation to me for some reason, and it's really strange and weird, and I do not understand anything. Man, I'm actually glad I decided to work on the house today. I'm actually liking how this is turning out so far. And so that's the main reason why I never really do too many collaborations on my channel. Is simply because I feel like it would be really freaking awkward to record with them and then like the video would just be really freaking awkward and I would just hate to like look at it in editing. <laughs> mm, there's been videos where I haven't released in the past that like um, I haven't released based on the fact they feel really freaking awkward and strange to me. And it hasn't been too many. It's been like a handful of videos. Uh, one of them was a Q&A. Uh, I got tagged in by uh, Mad MML Gaming, the guy I'm doing the SpongeBob SquarePants battle for Bikini Bottom, bottom race with. Um, he, he tagged me in a video where I'm supposed to answer all these questions. Don't die, please. Oh boy, that late though. And I recorded it drunk. And I thought that was a great idea at the time. <laughs> I didn't get drunk to record this video. I got drunk. Uh, because I was out with friends, but like I saw that his video and I was like I should totally do this when I get home when I'm drunk and then I totally did it and it was really freaking weird and awkward and um, The next day my girlfriend actually found it on my phone while we were just randomly kind of going through my pictures And I completely forgot I existed. I'm like no don't watch this because I was so strange uh, Recording I'll talk about it soon. Okay so yeah, I, I recorded that, and it was like really freaking weird, and she, my girlfriend watched it. Oh. <laughs> God dang it, Kenny. Yeah, and it was just, it was just so awkward. Uh, so I didn't release that video. Mwahaha. <laughs> All a part of the plan. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, how do you do... Mustache face. That was supposed to look evil, but it just looked weird. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my god. Okay. Do I have? Okay. I do you have? Oh, wait. Oh, go to go in here. There we go. So, yeah. I don't really. The whole recording the thing drunk thing wasn't really relevant, but um. Yeah, I kind of wanted to force myself into a position where. I had to go cry about her heartbreak and write in my diary. 
Um, I actually don't have anything to reply to that with. I don't like this floor, guys. I thought I wouldn't like it at first, but I don't think I do. It feels too square. Is it just because it's empty? Maybe when I put pictures up or some crap, it'll look better. I sure hope so. <laughs> so, I've always wanted a Minecraft server. Actually, that's not really too, too true. Uh, that's not really true. I've always wanted to be on a Minecraft server. I didn't think it would be a good idea for me to host based on the fact that I don't know anything about, like, coding or, like, pretty much any of that stuff. Like, if it has to do with, like, software kind of stuff, I don't really know too much about it. I'm so bad with a lot of stuff like that. And I really wanted to just, like, join a Minecraft, Minecraft slash Minecraft-esque server. Not the Minecraft server, although that would be freaking amazing if I got on there. Seriously, that would be so great. Um, and, yeah, I didn't really want to create a server on my own because I didn't really feel like that would be the best idea. And I don't, I didn't, I don't really like the whole idea of me managing a server because that's a lot of stress. And especially when I don't know if I'm going to play Minecraft forever. Um, but then I tried looking around for servers. I couldn't really find anything I really liked. And when I did find stuff I liked, it, w it was all stuff that really didn't fit me too well, I guess. Like, I was on Aerocraft for a while, and I noticed a lot of the people that were younger and really immature. Well, actually, they were really immature, but I didn't like some of the, like, things they said, we'll say. And it just... It left like a sour taste in my mouth, like, the, like how they treated their members. I remember the, it was it was like, um, for those who didn't watch my aircraft series, which was like three episodes, it was just me playing on an SMP server, um, and crap, I, I, I don't know what's going with that, and it was like, you know, vanilla Minecraft, it was just like the server essentially, except the owner of the server, he would fly around the server a lot, he would spawn in things for people when they asked, and I didn't like that, I, I like the whole like, the point of vanilla is not spawning stuff in. <laughs> I mean, that's cool if that's how he wants to do it. There it is. CJ logged in. Hi, CJ. Um. Um. I feel like this should be different, Wood. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's fine if he, like, you know, that's his, that was his ideal for a server with him being able to fly around and all that. That's perfectly fine, but it wasn't really my cup of tea. And one of the big reasons I left that server is when I went to another t nether tunnel and there was sponge all around. I'm like, seriously, you're spawning in unavailable items in the game now. <laughs> and I don't, I didn't like stuff like that. So I left that server. That and the guy, he reset the server every few months, which I freaking, I don't like that at all. I feel like if I'm going to put time and effort to build, I at least want it to last quite a while. And that's the thing with this server too. People... A few people have been asking, can we reset the server when 1.8 comes out? And I really don't want to do that, like, at all, because the server is only a few months old. Actually, I think it's, like, six months old by now, which is actually really freaking cool. Um, but that's way too soon, in my opinion, to reset a server. I want to wait at least a year before we're even discussing it, because I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. I want this to be built as a community. Plus, people... I feel people... It, the more people reset servers, the less interest it holds. Like, I want people to get used to the point, to the fact that just when you get bored of Minecraft, resetting the server is not the solution. It will be, it's a short-term solution. It gets people excited for a new server and, and, like, you know, a restart. But it doesn't last forever. Like, the more you reset a server, the, like, you look more forward to... I don't you're... It's hard to explain. Uh, how, how do I actually explain this? <laughs> Uh, the more you set a server, I'm looking for glass right now. Um, the more you get kind of used to the fact that you know what you're building isn't permanent, and I kind of don't want that because I don't want people to just wait for a server. To I am. Um. Crap! That lost my chain. Fall again. Hold on, so let me get my thoughts here. And I'm back. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, the more people, well, the more like I think that a server is reset, I feel the less people will like stay and like be entertained by that because it's like they'll, a lot of people will just be like, I'm not gonna build this because I'm just gonna wait for the server to reset. I don't know if I like that that glass better or I think that glass is better. 
Um, I just read what Kenny said just now, and <laughs> I, I missed the first part where CJ was talking. So I don't know if he is offering sexual services or not. Uh, feel free to contact him at cjlifestories.com. Dot, a, a, dot xxx actually <laughs> um but yeah i feel the more often like a server's reset the less people like are feel like they'll play i guess dude i i just stopped recording for a second to figure out how long i wanted to word this and it's still not really coming out too great <laughs> uh, i don't I, anyways Server resets too soon I, are a terrible idea in my opinion because people lose interest. The more servers are reset, the less interest it holds in my opinion. In my opinion. Why is there a boat in my house? Dude, I gotta start breeding this crap. Alright. That's the floor of my house done, I guess. <laughs> That's not true. I need stone brick. Which, I mean, we just literally ran down here, so it's kind of really stupid for me to come back down here again. You know what I could actually do? Not be so scatterbrained? That would be a great idea, but let's face it, that's never going to happen. We need to come up here. And grab more glass first off. Kristoff. That's my name. <laughs> Don't worry, out. <no. laughs> uh, let's grab a stack in a bit. Alright, super. Do you have any other mud staircases around here or dirt? Let's turd pillar up and set you instead of tarred pillar. It's not tarred pillar, it's turd pillar, guys. Jeez. Um, is this gonna even really work? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so yeah, I guess. Yeah, so I ended up pretty much building my own server based on the fact that I couldn't really find my own server that I feel like I would be a part of. And fit it into well that would like I would get along with every not really get along, but I mean people more my age and more have my taste. Good lord, that looks terrible. What I Dang it Dang it Jump up, jump up and get down. How do I how did I do this over here? Also, you need to leave, sir. You need to get out of here. Oh, I just used blocks. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, mate. Hmm. And now my inventory is clocked. Per Dude! Dude! I said that's so strange. Okay. Where did it go? There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you! Thank you very much. Oh, God. And that's exactly why I didn't do that before. Um... Let's go get my silk touch pick because I don't want to waste more glass and I forgot to hit my timer again. I stopped talking there for a brief second. Okay, so. <sighs> Words are not coming to my mouth, but we're going to keep talking anyways. Um, main reason I made a server was to, for one, make a server the way I want it to be, like, you know, played on, I guess. Uh, we got, we're still gonna need that. And two, you guys totally heard that. Good God, Family Guy game. Stop it. And yeah, play the game how I want people to play it. And also, I also want to force myself out of my comfort zone a bit. Because like I said, I don't like talking to people over Skype. Because it just feels really awkward and silly to me for some reason. We need to dump some of this crap off. Like in here. There we go. Um, why do I have all this freaking leather armor on me? Like, what the heck, man? Why do- why? Dude, I was trying to cue it, but it wasn't working. Alright, back up before it comes to my inventory again. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to push push myself kind of out of my comfort zone by quite a bit. By making a server, because I knew it would be really difficult for me to like keep up with- Or not really keep up with it, but I mean... Um, do events with people and all that because it feels awkward and strange to me. <laughs> and by forcing myself to make a server, it kind of not really makes it better, but I mean, it would, it kind of makes me grow a bit, I guess, as a person, because it would teach me how to talk to people on Skype. And I think that ha it has for the most part. Dude! Stop wasting your durability, please. Alright, that was placed like that. And I'm kind of shocked I got that on my first try, to be honest. 
And I feel like the server has really done that. This pick is too powerful. It's too powerful. Um, I haven't really uploaded too much of the stuff that we have done, minus like the Ender Dragon fight and the Wither fight, and I think that's really it so far. Well, oh yeah, and I did Sheer Wickedness with Judah f for a little bit. That kind of didn't pan out to be a permanent series, unfortunately, for reasons. <laughs> and that's it, just for reasons and raisins. But um, I, f I think that has made me like be a lot more comfortable talking to people on Skype. So yay, mission accomplished. 20% less awkward. That's not true. I'm still kind of awkward on Skype. But, you know, it's weird how it's kind of the opposite for a lot of people. A lot of people I know are absolutely fine with talking on Skype. Like, you know, with the classic nerd type person. We'll be, you know, normally... Seriously! We'll normally be, like, okay with talking to people, like, on the internet and all that. But terrible at, like, real-life social interactions. And I'm kind of the opposite. I mean, I'm not exactly... I'm kind of awkward in real life too, I guess, sometimes, but I mean, I feel a lot more comfortable talking to people in real life than I do in video games. That might be, I feel like that's really strange, but I don't know. Does that look terrible? Does that make people want to rip their eyes out in pure rage? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll leave that for now. Chrono's calling for glowstone. Why don't you just buy glowstone? Well, I guess it is for a, a project for like the community. Well, I, I guess that makes sense. All right, let's go back downstairs for the freaking twentieth time and see if we can find me some um, stairs so I can stare at people. <laughs> And that's my reasons for making a server. The end! But for real this time, because that is pretty much all I wanted to say on that. <laughs> really convoluted. That was supposed to be like a 5 minute story, and that turned to like 22 minutes of story, I think, how is how long this video is so far, but I'm not really too sure. Um, Do we have any stone brick anywhere? I'm kind of shocked I still have stone brick, to be honest. Uh, we'll just take some stone as well. Oh, we're gonna need these. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of these. Actually, I'm happy these are here. Cause I'm happy. Do 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 do. I'm sorry. I feel ashamed for even saying that. Sh show? No, not the show. Dude, I need to. I need to clear my inventory. Give me two seconds here. And I'm back. <clears throat> Welcome back to some more Unorig- I don't know why I felt like doing another intro, but apparently it was a thing that happened. Um, hmm. Alright. Now, how the heck do I do this? I want to make a staircase. And I don't even know if this is going to work or not. Okay. O okay. Oh, <gasps> it just works, I guess. Oh man, I didn't want to make it, I, didn't, I do not want it to be a straight staircase for obvious reasons, though that looks really stupid. Oh, I kind of want it to be curved, but I don't really know how to make curved staircases too well. <sighs> hmm. Hipster. <laughs> That's a funny name for Hippo, it's because he's a hippo, but he's like a green hippo, and he's like a hipster, and yeah. I'm just going to stop now. Uh, stop while I'm ahead, but not because, dude. It's weird, this delayed sound, it almost sounds like there's someone in my house or something. <clears throat> now, what if we did? Oh, of course, the one thing I actually kind of should have kept was, like, um... Uh, dirt on me, but I, I didn't. Sorry, I, I'm getting distracted in deep thought here. I don't know how to freaking... How, how does... How do you curve a staircase? That looks beautiful. Like, I've never been so happy with a building in my life. <coughs> Shut up, cave sounds! Um... 
and suddenly Throat is being annoying. Thanks, Throat. You're the best. I hate you. Sure, just, just throw some freaking crap there. Let's see who cares. I... God dang it. Let, let, let's see how you, my beautiful invention. Oh my god, that looks terrible. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. <laughs> the disaster case. The disaster case. There we go. Oh, man. This is terrible. Who? 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 Oh. Okay, um. Well, then, I gotta Google how to make... <laughs> spiral staircases. Uh, I, I guess let's call an episode here, though. I mean, we did do some stuff at my house here. <clears throat> From this point on... I'm going to actually go ahead and say that every time I'm home, I don't, I'm not doing something in a day minus like working and there will be obvious exceptions at some point, but every day I'm, I'm doing something at home that isn't work, that isn't working because you know, I work like five days a week, sometimes six. Um, but every time like every time I don't go out after work or anything like that, I am going to record an unoriginal craft episode. I want to get crap done. I want to start doing my house, or at least log on to unoriginal craft. You know what? I'm gonna even say it. I'm gonna record an episode every time I'm home. <gasps> OMG, grats, graz. Um, yeah. Every time I'm home, or every day that I'm home that I don't do something besides doing work. I'm going to record an original craft episode. I don't know how long it's going to last till the end of time, until I see fit, I guess. No, we'll just try to make it continue to be a thing. i got to fix that as well. Oh, look at that. So crappy. Good lord. I wish just make it a band all the way around. I should probably do that. Well, it gives me another thing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unoriginal Craft. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like for already. My name is Chris. In the next episode, we'll either continue to work on my house or we'll go back to the arena. Probably the arena, to be honest, because I want to get a move on with that. But the only reason I actually did do anything with the arena today is because I need to dig out a giant hole. And I'm going to probably do that right now after I record this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. And goodbye.